Minecraft rehab with Wiley. Now uh, I finally realized what it what it was going on with my uh, client star in the last video I made. Uh, it was a bit bit of a stupid mistake. I, I wasn't really thinking, um, but of course the the client star uses fuel, so it had huh, originally been using um, coal as as a fuel um, when I was first kind of. Uh, using it so I got it worked for a little bit and then of course it gave out when I ran out of coal So what I'm going to be doing today is making a power source for my destruction catalyst and using that the power source for the destruction catalyst is uh, well one of the ones you can use it'll use glowstone or uh, Coal or, or All that sorts of sort of stuff, but what I really want is uh, a Klein star, which is kind of like a, a battery for EMC. So what I'm gonna need is um, I'm gonna need eight Mobius fuel. Now each Mobius fuel takes four alchemical coal. So let's see. I'm gonna need I guess what is that? Thirty-two alchemical coal, something like that. Um, See if I can get enough real quick. It's 25, 30, need a little bit more. Um, all right, well, let's make this all into Mobius fuel real quick. Seven, yep, just need one more. Ah, that's so annoying when you get so close. Just need a little bit more. Uh, let's take some of my coal out of here. Gotta get a condenser up and running so I can turn whatever I want into coal instead of just uh, just fuel. All right, so I've got my eight Mobius fuel. Now I'm gonna need a diamond. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. Now we just surround the diamond with Mobius fuel. And that gets us a Klein Star Ein. Now you can make a uh, Klein Stars all the way up to a Klein Star Omega, which costs 25 million EMC. Uh, so you need four of each Klein Star of the of the previous level to make the next level. So that you know they'll cost more and more, and they get really expensive. Now, ugh, so a wolf stuck in my window. How much is that wolf in the window? Okay. So let's just charge it up with a bit of gold. The way you charge up the Klein stars, you can you can use a, a transmutation table. You put the Klein star in the left, and then you put your fuel down here, and bam, we get 2,000 EMC. So and now you'll see on the right side here, um, the Klein star can be used to to make stuff too if I store EMC in it. So let's go ahead and just add a little bit more. EMC to the Klein Star. Just put a lot of random crap in there. So I've now got 2,000 EMC in my Klein Star. And now I should be able to use my destruction catalyst. Now, one other thing, I was just kind of going straight down with the catalyst before, which is okay, but um, there's a little bit of a, oh, that's odd, a little bit of a lighting bug there. I wonder if I can, there we go, fix that up. Okay, let's kill this wolf, this thalmic slime, and this bastard. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Cry. I don't want his crappy wooden tools. Okay, so something kind of cool you can do with the destruction catalyst is instead of just going straight down into the earth, which is a little sloppy, I think, um, you can use it to make steps. So you want to do is I'm not gonna head too far down but I'll show you what I mean you can you know take out a 3x3 three three area there and then aim at the edge of it take out another 3x3 three three area and you can continue to do this and it's a great little way to head into the earth and it's not so messy and you don't have to pull your way back up which is just kind of a pain 
So, get some quick coal here. All right, just kind of wasting my time. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to show you. Now, another thing, I've been playing around with uh, decoration a lot, and I've uh, I've been I've been really playing around with the the saw, just the sort of potential for it. So something pretty cool I'm going to show you today. First, I'm going to get a uh, material that looks nice. For example, stone. So let's cook up a little bit of stone. My electric furnace. Let's let that do its thing. I'll let it cook and I'll come back. All right, here we go. So I got 16 stone cooked up. Now, obviously stone can be used to make stone bricks, which are pretty cool. They look real nice. But what you can go ahead and do with these is cut them up. You can cut them all the way up into covers, which are the thinnest material that you can get. And then you can take some of those and make them into strips, cover strips. So, what I've been doing with these covers and the strips is because uh, the stone bricks look so nice, you can make them into sort of little patterns. So, you know, for example, let's see, how, how should I do this? I think it would be there. And there, yep, there we go. It's kind of a little face going on. Um, I kind of want to make it a creeper face, but I, I have to look at a picture of one. Um, Cause I'm not that, not that good at remembering things. Um, so uh, now what we can do with these little strips is if, you, if you've made yourself a little picture or something, let's go ahead and let's just make it, let's make it something a little, less stupid so I don't really know what a creeper looks like. Um, uh, this is an odd area for this. Maybe I'll go around to the side of the house. Got to figure out what to put there. But okay, so find a good spot. How many blocks wide is this one? Two, three, four. Okay, so I could make, let's say, some sort of just make an X. Or uh, whatever that is. And then you can surround it with the little strips so it becomes sort of like a, a little mosaic pattern, really. And, and doesn't, doesn't that just look nice? Doesn't that just look great? Super cool. So yeah, I've been uh, been playing around with that a little bit. And the other thing that you can do with these flower pots that I've been doing, probably shouldn't have that in my hand. God knows what'll happen. Um, let me get an ax real quick. Um, let's go ahead and make a gemstone ax too. So let me get a ruby axe so I can get rid of some of those flower pots because they, they look all right, but they're a little sloppy. So what I'm gonna do is take uh, take some of these wooden planks and let's go ahead and make, make all of them. Cut those into the covers and then take some of those and make the cover strips. And you can cut the strips down even further into uh, corners, which I'm not gonna use this for this little design, but I'll show you where they would, in theory, go. So um, what I'm gonna do here, let's go ahead and take out these big thick panels because those just don't look nearly as nice. So I'm gonna show you. Yes, give me your meat. Your meat, give it to me. Okay, so, so these panels are much thinner, as you can see. They look just a little bit nicer. This is annoying me that this 
so thin here. Just make a little bit. I have to, I have to fill that in more in a second. Got plenty of dirt, not a problem. Uh, all right, good enough. Um, so yeah, we're sticking these little panels on here. Now what you can do with the strips is put them on top and that gives it just a little bit more of that flower pot sort of look. And then you can put them in the corners as well and you get just a nice little, nice little flower pot thing going on. Look at that, doesn't that look great? Now I think brick would be ideal, but I haven't really been going around getting clay, so I haven't been bothering with that yet. But I think this looks pretty great, and obviously the corner pieces could be put right here. So let's go ahead and, and do it with this one too real fast. I won't do it with all of them right now, just because we get a bit repetitive. So we put our paneling on. I can hear a bear somewhere. And then our corner strips, our strips on the top. And look at that, doesn't that look just, just look so nice? Little flower pots and a little design. Awesome, so pumped. Now uh, one more thing I kinda wanna do real fast is uh, I wanna start a sugarcane farm because for Thalmcraft you need to research and you need paper and you need a lot of paper so one cool thing about the um, the um, Philosopher's Stone is that it will turn dirt into sand and you should know just right click see there we go a little bit of sand and you should know that uh Sugarcane grows faster on sand than it does on dirt. So obviously I'm gonna set up a, a real sugarcane farm at some point. But for now, actually I'll go ahead might as well go ahead and start doing that. Setting up a, a real sugarcane farm. So let's get let's make this just into a nice little area with strips of dirt. Set those down. There we go. A little bit more. And we'll just do one more for now. Probably don't even have enough sugar cane to fill this all up yet, but we'll soon. And let's take that out, take this up. There we go, cool. All right, so now we get our Philosopher's Stone out. Turn it all into sand. Come on. Oh, well, I should have done that first. So I hit the G key to change the uh, mode. I'm sure anyone who knew how to do that was watching me do that, just shaking their head and thinking, what an idiot. As well you should. All right, so now I'm just gonna plunk all this sugar cane down. And look, I've only just barely got enough for one row, wonderful. But of course, I'm sure there's more around. Ooh, there's a ogre off in the distance. Let's try to kill him. See if I get owned. Oh, here it comes. Yeah. Ooh. Oh shit, I'm out of food. Oh yeah, that's right. Look, he dropped an obsidian. Sometimes they drop diamonds. That's why I kind of wanted to kill him, but oh well. Cool. So I've got my sugarcane farm started. Start digging that up, harvesting it putting it away for later. Picking up these, oh my god, oh shit. Well, I might just die here right now. 
Got an ostrich after me, a couple of creepers. I'm aggroing more shit. I fell in a hole. Oh my god. Wow. Well, I have no idea how I survived, but... Apparently I cannot be killed. I always knew that I was somehow special. I'm like the Bruce Willis from Unbreakable. Whew. Alrighty. Hey, there's some oil down there. Should harvest that. Well, I'm about to die. So we're gonna go ahead and eat some food. Probably call it a day for now. Um, next episode, I'm probably gonna try to get a condenser set up. Oh, look at our nice little new flower pots, the little ridges. Doesn't that just make such a difference? Um, yeah, I'm gonna wanna start getting a condenser set up and then think about uh, what I wanna transmute into diamonds to get my, my collector set up. and. With the M, if you're going the EM, the, uh, not the EMC, well, yeah, the EMC, the, uh, equivalent exchange route, collectors are always the way to go. Unfortunately, each one requires a block of diamond, so I'm gonna, gonna have to think about which valuables I have, what I can use to transmute, um, probably turn some of these gems into diamonds, maybe some, I'm gonna need the glowstone, but. You know, maybe some of this gold or something. It's got quite a lot of gold I don't really need. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, I've, I've been Wiley, and this has been Minecraft Rehab. Thanks again for tuning in. Um, check, out, check out my earlier episodes if you haven't seen them, and check out the ones I'm going to post this week. Always appreciate it. Maybe even like or subscribe, which would be awesome. Really appreciate that. And maybe, maybe, if you're feeling especially generous... Go ahead and share this series with people. Um, also, comment. Let me know if you have any suggestions or if there's anything you want to see or just anything random that you're thinking while you're listening to the melodious sound of my voice. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.